joins us on Zoom with some tips from an artist. This sounds fun. You know what, guys? This is fun. And if you are thinking, okay, what's a cool way to really channel the creativity and involve the kiddos? We've got a great solution for you. And this morning, we are joined by Stacy Lazara, who is actually joining us from the Chicago area. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much. Good morning. Okay, so you started doing this chalk art stuff. We're going to show the pictures and video uh, just because of the pandemic, but you have no artistic background. So how did you get inspired to do this? I don't. I've always loved drawing, but this completely came organically, just looking for ways to keep the kids busy during quarantine. We had sidewalk chalk left over from last summer, and we were just trying to stay outside to keep from going stir crazy. Um, chalk art is definitely having a little bit of a moment. So we, we saw some inspiration online and decided to give it a shot and uh, haven't really put the chalk down since. Yeah, so you obviously, you have to have a canvas to work on. And you said, unfortunately, that means you've got to wash away the designs pretty much as quickly as you do it. So how often are you turning a new uh, artistic piece? We've been doing near daily. We're in Chicago, so it's it's weather pending for sure. But um, yeah, near daily, we try to leave them up as long as we can for neighbors who are walking by. But yeah, ultimately, we have to wash them away as part of the process to clear our canvas for the next day. I love how you are including your kiddos too. So you have two kids, right? How old are they? Yeah, so my daughter Ashlyn is seven and then Avery is four. Oh my gosh, and seeing them incorporated in the art I think is so special and so cool. You can see them hanging from the trees there. Uh, so what do you want people to know? I mean, you just decided to pick up the chalk just as a result of this, but I think that you have a, a passion for this now that's inspiring. I do. You just never know what's going to come out of these times, and I think just you know, taking a small step to start and just do something that makes you happy. I think seeing how people connect with that, everyone's just looking for a little piece of joy in their news feeds and something lighthearted. And yeah, I think we started this never knowing it would become a series, but just sitting down and doing something that brought us joy. So yeah, I would just encourage everyone if there's something that you think could get a little bit of that creativity and, and a little stress relief at the same time and get outside, I would say just go for it. And, yes. and how can people find your chalk art? Do you have it on social media? Do you have it on YouTube? Yeah, so the best place to go is probably my Instagram, which is just at Stacy Lazara. Um, and I post it on Facebook as well. Okay, got it. Well, I think that this is so wonderful, making a difference in your community, bringing smiles to your neighbors, I'm sure. Stacey, thank you so much. I'm inspired now to go start drawing. You definitely I'm should. And if, and if anybody knows anyone who is making a difference in their communities, we encourage them to go on to michaels.com backslash difference makers and, and get them in the spotlight. Let's keep the positive momentum going. Totally. Stacey, thank you so much. All right, guys, back to you. I love how she included the kids in those pictures. Yeah. Those are so fun.